Hello everyone, uh, Drill here, good to see you. I wanted to let you know that I've put the download up for this model. It is a monster that we created last week on live stream. So this model is free for you to download and use in your projects. It's royalty free. Uh, the only restriction is that you cannot resell it. You can't just take this file and resell it. But other than that, you can use that in your games, whether it's you're going to be making money out of your game or whether you're putting it for free or uh, whatever you want to use it for. So I hope you enjoy that. Totally free. It's available on Patreon, but you don't need to sign up. It's publicly available to download that guy for free. And for the Patreon supporters over there, I do have two new tracks of music that I've just uploaded. It's for my new music pack, which is Gone Caving. Uh, unfortunately, lately, I've been watching a lot of <laughs> caving videos on YouTube. I don't know why. I think they're awful. Uh, <laughs> the caving tragedy videos, you hear about people getting stuck in a crevice. I think it's a terrible, horrifying situation, and I can't stop watching the YouTube videos. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. So <laughs> I'm making a current music pack that is uh, inspired by caving. So you can get the two tracks for Patreon supporters. They're available now. And on the Unity Asset Store, my horror music pack, that's got uh, 10 tracks of music in there, that is now available on the Unity Asset Store. So I'll put that link in the description below. You can use that in your projects. It's royalty free. But if you are a supporter on Patreon, you can get the horror music pack for free. So, I mean, you could just sign up for Patreon for like one month and get the music packs there. Uh, and it'd be cheaper than getting it from the Unity Asset Store if you want. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that all of my upcoming music packs that I will be selling online, they'll be available free to my Patreon supporters, so uh, please look forward to those. I'm aiming to do one music pack a month, so um, I just wanted to point out a couple details in the chat for the live stream for this monster. We had a lot of fun. I always enjoy hanging with, out with you guys, uh, so the contributions were like this duck foot over there. Um, the alligator head, the teeth, the nose. Uh, somebody in the chat said put eyeballs in the nose. Just fun stuff. I'm kind of thinking like whatever whatever stuff we want to say with the chat, I'll, I'll see if I can incorporate it. So my plan moving forward is to do regular live streams. I, uh, in the past, would do them regularly just doing my work and creating, you know, my uh, 3D models and other things while I was hanging out with you guys. But I've realized something that would be way more useful to people is if I regularly created 3D models that you can use in your games. I'll mostly focus on monsters since those tend to be pretty universal and I know what it's like when you're starting out with game development and you just don't have assets. You just don't have enough assets for your games. So I will be regularly, regularly creating 3D models for monsters. They are rigged. It comes with animations. You can Upload this to Mixamo.com and you can put more animations. You can you can set up more animations for that as you need for your game. So uh, you can put that in your projects. So moving forward, I'll be creating more of this stuff. I'll be creating uh, music packs. I also um, want to start creating just a couple tracks here and there for free that people can use as well. So you might be wondering why is this guy uh, giving out all this free stuff, you know, that's nothing is free, that's pretty suspicious. So it is. You shouldn't trust people who just try to give you free things and expect nothing in return. There's always something. And so if you want to pay me back for these things, here's what you can do. If you want to pay me back, I want you to stay focused on your goals. I want you to believe in your dreams. And I want you to work hard. I want you to become the absolute best that you can be because the video games industry needs you. So I'm asking you to do your best and become excellent. You are the future of the video games industry and we need you. So if you wanna pay me back, that's what you can do. My plans for this channel moving forward, I understand that I have a responsibility to the community who has formed around my channel here and all the people who've enjoyed seeing my latest videos and I cannot just post critique videos and industry speeches all the time because that would just be boring for people. And there's always a degree of negativity when it comes to those sort of critique videos. So I want to make sure that I can bring you something cool. I just want to make cool stuff for you guys. And in the past, I have worked at industry level. I've worked at alongside CEOs and 
general managers at the highest level. And so I'm accustomed to dealing with heavy hitters and being in stressful environments and keeping your cool. But that is not my favorite line of work. It is something that I can handle. It is something that I can do when it is needed. It's not difficult for me to do, but it's not my favorite thing. And I'm trying to leave that work behind for the most part, because at heart, I am a game developer and I want to make cool games. I don't really want to be trading blows with industry giants. That stuff is, is really behind me and I don't really enjoy that, even though it's work that I've done in the past. So I want to focus on making cool stuff and I really just want to hang out with you guys. So if we do these live streams, we can, we can have fun and make monsters together. But I want to do more than just that. So something that I would like to do is create a couple community games that will be free. And we can use the assets that we create on live stream. You and I will be making these monsters together. We're going to be having a laugh. We're going to have a lot of fun. And we can do a bunch of different kinds of games. So I have in my studio, I have a bunch of different frameworks that are fully featured, totally finished. Some games I've shipped. I did Animele in 2016. It's a fully featured fighting game. I am working on basically redoing the game and then bringing that to modern flat platforms, including the, the Switch and Steam and whatnot. But because I have that fighting game platform, I thought it would be pretty funny if we took these ridiculous monster designs and stuck them in a fighting game and just gave them the most hilarious janky moves. That would be pretty fun. We can do action beat em up games um, where you run around and beat up monsters. So those are things that I wouldn't spend too much time on because I have to focus on my commercial work, creating my commercial games. But doing this because I already have the frameworks, because we will be creating these on stream, the assets will be finished, and because I have gigabytes of retargetable assets in terms of animations and things that I've created, I can use a lot of that work to very quickly work on these community games. So there'll be a limited amount of time, but it's because of Patreon supporters that I am able to work on free games and the homebrew stuff for older platforms. So it's a way that I think we can all just have fun. And there's really like, it, there's no stress, there's no negativity involved. And the games will start small. They'll just be small things and then maybe the UI will be a little rough, maybe the, the um, particle effects and animations and sound effects will be a little basic in the beginning. And again, that's because I can't just spend time on these free games as a full-time job. I have a certain amount of time in my schedule that I can dedicate to free stuff, again, thanks to the Patreon supporters. So I'll start small. We can have a lot of fun together. This is just free, it's fun, it's something that we can do to hang out, and it's something we can enjoy making together, and you guys get to be involved in the process of making a game. I know what it's like to be a gamer and to just think, it would be so cool, I've got this idea, it'd be so cool to be part of this somehow, and now you can be a part of it. You can hang out with me, we can all make something together, and it's something we can just enjoy. There's no stipulations, there's no extra things, there's going to be no monetization in this stuff. Just cool stuff that we can do. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll share a little bit of details about my games that are on the Switch. My Silver Falls games are going to be on sale starting September the 2nd. They're on the Nintendo eShop, so if you just type in Silver Falls into the eShop, you'll see three games there. There's Silver Falls Episode, Prelude, Ghoul Busters, and uh, Guardians and Metal Exterminators. So Episode Prelude is the, uh, it's my worst game that I've launched. I was absolutely worn out in terms of working on so many games and I had to, I had to launch another game and the version of Unity that was available to me was absolutely broken and I was in a situation where I had to ship it. I'm not in a position right now where I, I can spend time to fix, uh, some of the glitches that are in the game and improve and add more content. But I'm hoping if people pick up Episode Prelude and they enjoy the game, then that will be able to fund me just spending time creating the update patch and improving Episode Prelude. But that's the worst game that I've ever done so far, primarily because of some glitches in there. Um, my next game is Ghoul Busters, which is a very fun side-scroller. I did it in the style of Game Boy games. I actually created the music, the full soundtrack for that for Game Boy hardware because I wanted it to be genuine. And Guardians and Metal Exterminators is an action adventure game. It's based on short missions. It has a story that's based on your character dynamic and your relationships between these characters. It doesn't have huge, explosive, cool cinematics, but 
it focuses more on just gameplay that you can hop in and out of. You can do a couple missions here and there when you have time. And it's satisfying to get new weapons and get new skills and build all these different loadouts. There's a bunch of different human characters, but you can also unlock playable cryptids. So you get to play as the monsters. They have all of their own skill sets, all of their own abilities. You can connect Guardians of Metal Exterminator, Silver Falls, to other Silver Falls games in the series. And you can get the protagonists from other Silver Falls games. They can cross over into other Silver Falls games. And especially with Guardians and Metal Exterminators, the cryptids from the other Silver Falls games can cross over and become playable. So uh, people tell me that uh, in general, their favorite soundtrack is Guardians and Metal Exterminators. It's a story set in the 80s. And so I made sure that the music was as faithfully inspired by the 80s. I wanted to make sure that the soundtrack sounded like it was made by um, a rock ballad band, you know, a sort of a hair metal rock band from the 80s. So uh, you can also get the soundtrack. I'll put the links for the soundtrack for Guardians and Metal Exterminators. And Clash Your Ball is my latest game that I launched on the Switch as well. It's a fun little action game and you get to clash some balls together. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the free model, uh, and if you are a Patreon supporter, uh, I hope you enjoy the music. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm working on some videos based on your requests in the comment section from my previous video, so thank you all for commenting and asking for some videos. I am looking at uh, some other characters, some other games, and I hope you're looking forward to those videos. Take care, everyone. Thanks so much for stopping by. All right, I'll see you around.